very high pressing. OCB just trying to get it out of their half. Now the Hammerheads will take it. As we had OCB swing the uh, momentum in their favor after the first goal, it's kind of swung back in the favor. Try and start the attack for the Hammerheads now. Here comes Bins. Past a few. Still with Bins. And ball will just be headed. Bins. Over now. Mishad. Bins. Kicks it across the field. Hammerheads need to get something going here. Looking on the sorts of possibly six minutes, but I'm going to go with five if, if we're placing my bets. Bins cutting through some guys and then pushed down, but no whistle. The far flank and Jeff Mishot, of course, the forward slash midfielder as we look for Justin Moose on a beautiful ball by number 21, Michael Bins. Wilmington had the momentum for about five minutes, ten minutes, and Pittsburgh regained control of the match with their third goal of the contest. Legion Stadium will be Wilmington hosting the Charleston Battery on Saturday, August 20th. It'll be a 7 o'clock kickoff. So the road not getting any easier. Yes, but yeah, so that all that plays a, plays a role, plays a factor. Um, I think what we want to see mostly is is what's the attitude of the players are. Good first touch there by Michael Bins, and all the way across, Tom Parrott has a shot. But back to Wilmington. Michael Bins finding the Miller a long time in the United Soccer League, certainly back to the old league of USISL. L or at any stage of professional soccer as the low cross sent in on the foot of Barnes Homer, shot wide left. Two touches for Barnes Homer to Moose back to Michael Bins. Bins looking for Jeremy Lynch. Ball finds Austin Martz here on the near side. Martz in the seven kit. Подача. Слишком далеко летит мяч. На дальний угол штрафной. Удар и Глер. You gotta be if you're smaller. You gotta be even better. Look at Nick Romando for Real Salt Lake. Frustrated at himself for miss hitting. Just didn't get a good clear of it. Yeah. Logan Miller. They need, they need to get a lot better service into the front men right now. You know, if, if Cox is going to have to deal with balls like that, then Fairclough is, and uh, Peroni is going to be Pulis about uh, Jason Christ. He said he, he had a, a, a quick little meeting with him, talked to him a, a bit about uh, OCB and where they're at right now. Uh, and one of the things Pulis said is that him and Christ have very similar mentalities when it comes to coaching. So there's a run from Mendoza just off the shoulder and just easily cleared away by Peroni. Some risks there playing that ball out of the back, but they've managed to get out the other side and they're over halfway. Now Bins lays it off. Quick passing coming from the Hammerheads now as Bins will wait for the run of Mashad. Being by OCB, but great ground save by Mark Ridgers to keep the game in favor of OCB as that one's going to be opt out of the way. And OCB, okay for now. Here comes Martz. Popped up by Ambrose. Ben still with it, plays it right in. And the shot is tipped over the bar. And to talk about the, uh, the depth that OCB has right now, in terms of the striker position, there really isn't too many players on the bench that they can pull from. Keegan Smith, the only listed forward that they have on the defensive line. They've actually gone to a 3-5-2. That's what they've done. So Mikey Ambrose is playing the left wing back spot. Tyler Turner is the right wing back spot. Now as the Hammerheads are going all out, they're going to leave some spaces at the back. But they're going to try and 
make this one all square. They're going to keep pushing to the final whistle. So CB wins that one back, and another miscommunication by Cincinnati. Michael Bins. Bins gets it back now. Crosses that one over to Peebo. And Bins takes it away. Bins moving quickly again up the field again. Gives it over to Dewey. Dewey sends it across and headed out by Delbridge. Now Bins gets it and he's racing down the field. Bins gives it over to Mishad. Thompson. Callahan. There's Bins. Let's see if he can work it forward. He does. Back and forth, a little serpentine. Taken down and nice job there. Heading it down and Barnes Homer sees Bins. Bins who led that rush a minute ago. This may be an opportunity right here. You've got a four on two break. Bins now on the left side, hustling back. He's got a lot of options. He's going to work it through and sends it out to the right. There goes a shot from me. The, just the heads, uh, just a little bit of dejection right now from the kickers as they realize this is a, a mountain to climb here in the last couple of minutes. Bins works his way through, now sent off to. Last week in that draw against Orlando City, in a match where Liam Miller found the back of the net for the first time in stoppage time to earn that one point with the 2-2 tie and a shiny fair club with a yellow card accumulation. Also on suspension, Matthew Barnes Homer here on the near. <laughs> Do you steal hips later and you're doing all right? That's, yeah, you played, played hard. Work hard, play hard. That's it. <laughs> left it on the, <laughs> left body parts on the pitch way back then. There, Attacker's in shape. First little string of combination passes. Rauschendell. Jeff Mishad. Michael Bins. Bins with a low cross into number seven. Lost. Upset with the call. But at this point, Wilmington will take a deep breath. Sigh of relief. And now Bins is going to move forward. Nice play by Danny Earls right there. I haven't seen Stefan DeFrager yet. DeFrager, a guy who has kind of transitioned into that back line for Wilmington this season from midfield. Tom Parrott, another guy, that, a veteran guy that's not out there tonight. So really a, a stoppage time equalizer by Liam Miller to come away with a point in the road match. As that is Michael Binns. He just leaves it up there for Jeff Mishad. He's got three defenders collapsing on him. And he's at the top of the penalty area. More Christmas music here, Joe, at the stadium being Christmas in July, but Hammerheads need some more presents under their tree, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely didn't make the nice list tonight. <laughs> Michael Bins, cue the wall. Ati. Herzog has been stoned twice tonight. Just for, for the struggles, so just trying to, you know, it, we've talked about for weeks and how difficult it is for uh, for any coach to come in mid-season and, and try to sort things out. And, uh, you know, so uh, we, we've seen a lot of changes consistently as they're, they're going out there and giving everything every game and playing very, very hard. And, and try to pick up three points each and every game. Oh, no, definitely in that respect. I don't think there's anybody out there not giving everything. And one caveat is, of course, something that you mentioned, Gene, briefly, is that there's always injury. Meacham plays it back to Fairclaw. Now over to the near side, it's Michael Bins, the Jamaican national. Interesting contrast in, in styles and systems, too. With the foot of Stefan. And it ends up in the arms of the opposite goalkeeper at T. Now here's Bins moving up the left side quickly. Uh, he's flying up there past. He'll get a grip of it, although they'll just stop doing it right now because obviously Wilmington need to uh, are looking to try and get back on the board. And the Riverhounds are trying to get uh, 
another chance on goal, which well, we haven't well, had I mean, for Wellington a while. Has, uh, has attacked very well in some spurts. Uh, you know, Paul, they just uh, didn't boys, hesitate either. He went right for that one, and, mm -hmm. you know, he knew there probably was going to be some type of collision. Here's Bins. Bins has been very active here on this uh, left side. Yeah, yeah, we'll see him with 20,000 fans there in a, uh, our final playoff game against uh, Cleveland. And uh, uh, got a little bit upset with two seconds to go when uh, one of the players from their team, uh, Peter Miller, spe spat him up. Two goals on the season, both of them coming against this Wilmington squad. Put forward on the right side. He it's lost meeting. control of it. And he lost it, so Riverhounds would mention you before, you don't want to get complacent with it. You see Ben putting one forward, the left side, with some space, Wilmington working. Well, I think I just uh, it catches the rear hand. That's Michael Bins playing here to DeFrager. DeFrager creeping in towards the right edge of the penalty box. Can uh, Liam Miller? who steps in front. Michael Bins with a goal already tonight. Feeling it, slots it into Austin Martz. Aust Martz keeps it away from Pembakis. will center it back to Parker. <laughs> играть, то, понятное дело, все шансы на выход, они улетучатся сами собой. По 6 очков будет у мексиканцев и у... Ну, а Сурви там готовит вторую замену, вроде. 20 минут остается еще играть, пока по одной только сделали тренера. Вперед. Дальний удар, но это... Добавил Вилтон Сампайо. Сколько бы не добавил. Эдинсон Кавани, mais en temps contre les les deux joueurs de la Céleste. J'ai l'impression qu'on cherche à faire plaisir à Edinson Cavani, surtout à ce qu'il marque. Down in the Caribbean and a lot of them playing in the USL as well. Here will be Bins with the kick into the box and it's going to be popped out. Give him the job of trying to pick Brony up and it's a, it's a tough job for him tonight. Good job by Mark Bridgers getting down and making a quick reaction save and keeping the game 1-0 in favor of the Lions. Bins will take this free kick. Another one into the box. Is That one's going to go wide. Career. <laughs> So Michael Bins will deliver the left foot on the far post, punched away by Mauricio. This one crossed. Injury is grabbing that lower half of his right leg. He got caught late there and uh, kind of like went down on the turf a little bit funny. There's that ball in the middle again, uh, looking for the big guy. Yeah, they said it's a park now, the originally called Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really. uh, There's nothing there. It's a big barren space. Well, then that video is all you, all you have now. Yep. Well, anyway, back to this game. <laughs> yeah, really. Let's get back I'm to this game. I'm sorry to get yeah. sidetracked, guys. I just had to mention that. That's Bins on the ball, and he seems to yeah, be there. Free is, kick yeah. uh, is taking everything for them tonight. Bins lines it up over the line. Diving stop by Stefan. Wilmington trying to put another point on the board as we enter the halftime. There's a ball whipped in. He sends one in, looking for Peroni. It found uh, Faircloth. Offsides the call, Joe. That far side official had the flag up from good clearance there from Garcia. So will be Bins again on the set piece coming from the corner. So he'll put this one low into the box, and Ambrose is there to he, he easily headed it away. 
come out to Martz now. Put it again in the box as Fairclaw. I have my heads. And good reading by Moose to see the ball just kind of bouncing towards him. Made an effort at it. Came up a bit limp, but he's up and moving. Ball in by Bins gonna be over the head of everyone. Now to do so if he's uh, if he's physically you know, throwing up on the field there. So we'll see if he is able to come back into the game. As meanwhile, nice save by Mark Ridgers. It will be Michael Bins once again on his left foot, ready to take. As it's low into the box and it's the hammerheads and a shout there for for the penalty from Connor. Bins another corner, this one high into the foul post. Headed down and it's in the back of the net. And a Shawnee Faircloth scores again against OCB. Scored in the first game of the season and scores again here two minutes into the second half. They came to you, their teammates. Liam Miller player with Manchester United, QPR, etc. That one's over. Unbelievable competition just this year, competing in the Copa America Centurio. Justin, he's, he was dangerous earlier tonight from a set piece on a free kick. Put one on frame, the only shot tonight. This one on the near post, headed away for Pittsburgh. Stephen Okai will go off. I did not see the his replacement as we await the corner from Bins. Going to the far post, and it's turned away. That one intended corner. Here's the ball toward the box, headed out by Sergio Campbell. Goes across the top. He sneaks up. All of the Rochester players in the box to defend Michael Benz's corner. Shot taken across or service. Going to come to Barnes Homer. Still in possession. And cleared off. That's Camden. The goal. As we said earlier, very, very big games for OCB coming. As Mendona has that one knocked away. Spell coming from the Hammerheads. As Bruno Peroni, the leading goal scorer for the Hammerheads, trying to get a bit forward. As a nice job by Bins to win the ball back for the Hammerhead. As it's going to fall for Lorea, not quick enough to get to it. And be cleared away. Take care of Obercop. You know, Obercop's been sharp tonight. Maybe they see him as the as the danger man, so Sosa's on to shut him down. As that's going to be a throw in a bit closer as they go along. As here's Lorea again. And once again, poked out by Vins. One in the 70th minute here. As a dispossession here is Wilmington now with the counterattack. Balls into the box. Cox, nice job holding up. Still with Turner as he has it taken away. And he remains down on the field. That was a good win from Toner, t Tyler Turner in the first place. He's got a good defense there by Bins coming back to the play. Now it gets, gets away a little bit from Lee. He's right on the line. Spins around trying to control it. And a good job by Benz to disrupt things. Seeing Barnes Homer do it before on a goalkeeper. I'm surprised not getting a yellow card there, but certainly Moose there. But I think, again, Michael Benz giving chase to the kick. Mike Green controlling possession for Pittsburgh, but Benz wins it back. His little flick. Here's Martinez. He's got some space working to the right side. Got full a lot plays. of hammerheads there, and he ends up going down as Bins takes it away. Oh, great ball from Bins. Now here's Martz. Man, and Campbell with a heck of a kind of stood there with it. They're waiting on the half to end, Another it looks great like. Ball, and here's Danny a Earls. ball to Martinez. Uh -huh. There with Bins. The ball straight in the air. Both of them looking for it. And for to Dominic Samuel. towards midfield beautiful ball turned away by Michael Bins that ball had a Charleston Char 
And that one off one bounce to Hildenbrandt. This one finds Michael Bins. Miller leaves it back to Bins. That's a... Olsen with a big Peroni on his back. That's an absolute blister again from Michael Bins. Coley. Giveaway and not quite a giveaway, but Sosa being able to take a shot and ball coming just over the post. Well covered by Lind, but a great shot. Yet. Whipping ball high in to find the back post. It's going to come to it. A great shot and a great score. And that's a goal. I do believe it's Peroni, the leading scorer. The Long night if uh, he lets us keep up. So now it's going to be Bins off the deflection. And it's, and it's back in the back of the net. That's exactly what you need to do. Michael Bins finishes it off on a deflection. Bottom left corner. We probably strike it from here. What a goal.